So whenever I come to the end of a workshop or a talk, I always say keep the conversation alive because that's how you make things habit. That's how you keep those habits going and keep them alive and keep working on them as well. There's something about when we share um, our stories with other people that make them more, somehow solidify the experience. It kind of imprints the experience, imprints it in our memory, it kind of encodes it in our brains. There's something about when we have those conversations, we, we tell other people and um, also we tell ourselves, this is important, this matters to me, this is significant, this is meaningful. I mean, that's why we share our experiences on Facebook and things like that, isn't it? It's you know, to say, hey, this happened and this is significant to me, so I want to share it. And there's something about when we share it, we, we just kind of encode it a little bit more in our own memories, as well as involve other people in that story. So whether you're sharing publicly on social media or whether you're starting that conversation, having that conversation privately with a close friend or a family member, there's something about how that helps us to kind of you know, set it in, not stone, but you know, set it, um, in the imprint it in our own heads. But also it helps to involve other people in our story as well. So when we have conversations with other people, we involve them in our story. We, in, you know, we invite them in to hold us accountable, to cheer us on, to join us um, you know, as comrades and co-conspirators or to support us and help us along the way. Um, and I think something happens when we share our story that actually isn't just about us. It's not the benefit, just the benefit that we get. It's the benefit that other people get as well. You know, we inspire others when we share our story. Um, I've had some you know, really inspiring stories this week where other people have been sharing what's been going on with them. And it's not just highlights, it's you know, the things that they're struggling with, the things that you know, are bringing tears to their eyes. And, and actually there's something really um, powerful about being part of someone else's story, um, being able to speak into that, but also letting them speak into you. So, you know, this conversation, these 40 days, um, you know, thank you for joining in that conversation. Thank you for being part of that conversation. I hope it's been inspiring for you, that it's been useful, it's been a challenge. Um, you know, and I know that for me, if I didn't have questions, if I didn't have conversation, actually, I wouldn't have a business. I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now. It's all been as a result of conversation. It's all been when I've had conversations with other people, some of those conversations have been affirming, some of them have been inspiring, some of them have been really challenging. In fact, some of the best conversations I have is when somebody either comes up with a perspective that I haven't thought of before, or a question that I can't immediately answer. That gets my brain going. That's often how my articles, my videos, my blog posts, my um, my books have come about is because people have asked me questions and we've had that conversation that's then got my brain thinking um, and, and, you know, and that desire in me to want to continue the conversation is what keeps me going and what keeps my business going. So thank you for being part of this conversation. So when it comes to your habits, the one that you've been working on, or any other habits that you want to establish in the future. Remember this, keep that conversation alive. Have the conversation, tell other people, involve them in your story, and that way you keep the habit alive. And when you keep that conversation alive, that conversation keeps you going as well. So thank you so much for being part of this conversation, and allow me to be part of your conversation as well. Let's keep it going, let's keep it alive, and I will speak to you soon.